How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. By now you've heard about the SAM Unlock, but maybe you found it a little difficult in the past. Well, it's now been updated to make it a lot easier. I'm going to show you how. The first thing I'm going to do is go in here and delete my activation records that I currently have out there. Just to prove to you that you don't need your original SIM card to make this work. So I'm just going to move these files to the trash, just like that. And another thing, let's, oops, I'm going to actually empty the trash here just to... Yeah, there we go. So I emptied the trash. So all the current activation records are gone. I don't have my SIM card plugged in for any carrier. And now what I'm going to do also is just verify. I think I deleted the SAM preferences, the preferences for the uh, SAM unlock tool that we download from Cydia. So I'm going to just search for SAM, make sure there's no preferences. There are none. So we're good to go. Now all we need to do is power off our device. So let's swipe down and I'll just do a uh, soft reboot there. And of course the reboot will take quite a while, but what I'm going to do is just speed things up a bit just to make this a little quicker for you guys so you can get to unlocking your devices. So we should be back up right about now. There we go. And as you can see, it says no SIM still in the upper left hand corner. The SIM card has not been placed in yet, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in right now. As soon as I unlock my device, there it is. Now here's my T-Mobile SIM, this is not the official SIM card for this phone. My phone is locked normally to AT&T, so I've placed in the unofficial SIM card for T-Mobile. Okay, now we're going to open up the SAM Preferences tool. So open up SAM Prefs. Now all you need to do is go to Utilities and then tap Attempt Activation. It really is that easy. You're going to see in the upper left-hand corner, um, you'll see something that looks like that. Tap Attempt Activation. Please wait, this may take a while. You'll see it searching in the upper left hand corner where your carrier name normally is. And eventually, and this does take a little bit of time, uh, maybe about a minute or so, eventually you will see uh, the phone respring and then it'll come back up and show you T-Mobile in the carrier name here. So give it a few more seconds while this works on the activation here. So there it goes, the respring. And we're coming back up more seconds there we go searching now watch T-Mobile just like that so let's go ahead and verify we can make a phone call with this open up the phone dial our friends over at T-Mobile turn on our speaker well, let's see what we get here thanks for calling T-Mobile customer service Okay, and there we go. So the T-Mobile uh, phone call did work. We are unlocked on T-Mobile with the unofficial SIM card for T-Mobile. Now, say you want to switch back to your your primary SIM card. Say you have you still have your your original SIM card that you were initially locked to, and you want to use that. Well, what do you do? Well, I bet you can guess what that is. All you do is pop out your unofficial SIM, you place it in your primary SIM, just like that. Okay, and all you do is you go into utilities well no we don't see the attempt activation button that's no problem you actually have to wait a second it'll do the searching and then the attempt activation button will actually appear and then you can use attempt activation to activate back on your primary sim card so it's really easy just wait a few seconds just be patient that's all it requires is a few seconds of your patience a few seconds of your time and then you'll be able to attempt the activation so going back and forth between sam and utilities isn't going to make a difference I'm going to show you. Go back. Go back. It does. It will appear by itself. You'll see it. There it is, right there. So all you do is you tap attempt activation. It'll respring, and then in a few seconds you'll be back on AT&T or whatever your primary SIM card is. There it is, folks. Super simple. Super easy. So let's unlock our device. And let's make a phone call to our friends over at AT&T this time. So there you go, folks. That is how you unlock your device with Sam. If you need the repo address, check in the description and let me know what you think of the comments.